What's up guys, I'm Andy here today and welcome back to Shout Out the Tomb Raider. This is, uh, I'm like been counting down. So, this is the second last episode that will be pre-recorded. So, you know, I hope you've been enjoying the episodes so far. All that for another riddle. What did it say? The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. Well, it's better than nothing. I suppose. We need to find the box and end this. What is that? Don't move. Go, stop, wait, go fast. all of a sudden. 
Okay, last time, I think we looked over here, here, maybe here. Is that what you remember? I don't know. Does it matter? If we missed something the first time, we should look at everything again. Yeah, good point. Okay. I think the river is higher or lower than it was. Come on, man. Stop asking me to remember things. As soon as Operation Lone Wolf got called off last time, I completely pushed it from my mind. Got anything? When I have something to report, I'll report it. This was a research operation. Let's just spread out and make the best of it. I'll cover that area, you stay here. I told you, stick around.
21st of December, 1603. Lopez had grown pensive since exiting the cenote. I led the way, and when I turned toward the city, at last he spoke, calling for us to stop. Then, after swearing me to silence, he shared with me a secret he had been carrying. That night, by the river, I met with the Emperor. I confessed to him who I was, who we are, and the true purpose of our visit. Trinity's fattened leaders, too busy with politics for even the morning's prayers, are not worthy of the box. The Emperor and I agreed that the only way to keep it safe from them was for me to claim it, take it far from here and hide it until one of the Paititi royal line, a chosen one, can follow his antecedents clues and rediscover it. Having thus unburdened himself, Lopez turned on his heels and set a course deeper into the jungle. What am I supposed to do? Hunaratu's dead, shot in the back by Rork. I don't have the box. Jonah. God, if anything happens to him. God damn it. This is a record of a mercenary's assignments while working for Trinity. Mexico, Kenya, Siberia. I had my crosshairs on the younger one too, but Rourke had orders for us to leave her alone. This is the bastard who shot Anna. Who is this? I've suspected you've been monitoring my communications since Mexico. <sighs> Rourke. Commander Rourke. You've been listening to me. And now, I'm listening to you. Another foreshock. How's it feel, knowing you're responsible for all these cataclysms? All that suffering? I know what I did. The look on your face when Dominguez told you? But you just had to have that dagger, didn't you? Forward outpost. Croft is moving into your area. Find her! Lost the right through the guys at the beach. It can't happen again. We'd better do a sweep. Anything interesting in that new shipment? Thermal goggles, gentlemen. I'll take point. I got something! Where? Oh, 
she can hide. Absolutely. He wouldn't change our orders unless he was sure she was here. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. We found too many of our people already. Not this time. Pull up. Can't carry any more. God damn it, people! Use the goggles! Find her! Sam? You see anyone? If I did, I'd be shooting. <laughs> I'll fix it one more time. What doesn't belong here? Time to fucking wander off. Getting a strange feeling. Quick the area, high and tight. Lead the way. We're taking casualties. Fucking bastards. Jesus. Yes. They close. Oh, they close. They can't see anything. They can't be far. This'll 
I'll get you moving. Let's finish this. Enjoy it. Hope to see you next time. Bye.